listen to how the psalmist worshiped the Lord. And maybe we ought to reflect, is this really how I worship the Lord? Psalm 27, 4. One thing I ask of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. That's what I want. The one thing I want more than anything else is to worship the Lord, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Psalm 42. My soul thirsts for God. Have you ever had thirst, brothers and sisters, where you wanted something, that you needed it to be quenched, and that's how he feels about God? Where can I go and meet with God? Psalm 84, my soul yearns, even faints. He feels like I'm going to faint if I don't have Jesus, if I don't have the Lord. Do you feel that way about being in God, with God and in his presence? Or is it, man, I guess I have to show up today, Sunday, darn it. I'd really like to be home. What's your attitude towards God? Church, is this your heart? Do you long for God? Do you thirst to praise his name, to sing to him, to lift up praise? Do you just want to be with God? Dwell in his presence? When was the last time you were so eager to come to church, so eager to pray, so eager to be with God's people? You're like, man, I'm longing for this. My soul thirsts for this. This is why I have zero tolerance for a Christianity that says, well, how can we get people in and out of church in the shortest amount of time possible so they can get on with the rest of their life? I got zero tolerance for that. Listen, there's nothing spiritual about long sermons, I know that. There's nothing spiritual about long church services. Sometimes they need to be shorter. But a heart that desires to leave church as quickly as possible, leave God's presence as quickly as possible, that's much different than what we read about in the Psalms. See, maybe it's not that God is absent from your life, brothers and sisters. It's your passion for God is absent. Maybe you don't seek God. Maybe you don't really want God. Scriptures say that God is not far from you. God wants you. He desires you. He's searching for you. He loves you. I don't care how dark the storm, I don't care how dry the desert, God is working in your life even when you don't see it right now. But the question is this, do you want God? Do you seek for God? Are you feeling your way towards him, Acts 17? Because the book of James promises us, draw near to God, He will draw near to you.